Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a huge, well, maybe it's not huge to some of you guys, but to my wallet, it's definitely huge, but a huge Sephora haul and then a few things from Nordstrom as well that I'm just gonna throw in here. So if you want to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. So honestly, I've been very underwhelmed with the new makeup releases. I just think it's off season. I think within the next couple of months, the releases are going to become more frequent and better just, you know, as the spring collections come about. So I haven't really been too inspired to buy things, but you know, <laughs> I've been stressed shopping. I've been very stressed. So I did pick up some stuff. So we're going to start off with Sephora, which is the majority of the haul. So this I picked up when I was on vacation in New Orleans. I had to stop by a Sephora. And I actually got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Set. So it comes with the Watermelon Glow Jelly Sheet Mask, which I have not yet tried. The Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, which I've been using every day. I think this would be really fabulous on oily skin. I have dry skin, so I've been making it work. I do like it, but I feel like this isn't so intensely moisturizing, so somebody with oily skin would like it. And the Watermelon Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, which actually I've only used once and I like it because it's not sticky on my skin So I feel like it's not going to like go on my pillow everywhere. It actually dries So I really do like this. This is $40 and then I got it for an additional 20% off So I got it somewhere in the 30s. I just needed a new moisturizer and I mean do you guys see how cute this packaging is? So yeah, I mean that's why I got it. I also picked up the NARS Skin Deep Palette. At first I wasn't gonna pick it up but it just was catching my eye I actually am wearing it on my eyes right now I just filmed a chit chat get ready with me video uh, so if you want to see this in action check it out I also kind of talk about a life update me graduating college my job what's up for the future for me so if you do want to check that video out and all of that information do so but yeah this is a gorgeous everyday neutral palette I really like it I do think it's more suited towards medium to deep skin tone so I actually might hand this off to my mom who's a medium skin tone but it is really nice if you're really fair though I think NARS has some better options for you this also was an unexpected pickup from me. I actually ended up watching one of her videos. I mean, I've been subscribed to Dominique for a while, but I don't know. I watched one of her videos and I was really intrigued. And then the next day I went to Sephora and I saw this in the store and I was just like, hmm. I like her. <laughs> but I got the Dominique Cosmetics Berry and Cream Palette, or Berries and Cream, excuse me. I haven't used this yet besides Swatch It. I've just been away, so it's kind of been sitting in my room for the past three weeks while I've been away. Really gorgeous palette, very different. Her Latte Palette is one of my favorite palettes of this year, or of 2018, excuse me. And yeah, I just feel like this palette's different, but it's also very user-friendly. I don't know, I'm excited to play around with it. I know I always promised, oh, I'm gonna do a tutorial with this, but <laughs> this is in line to be a Instagram tutorial, which I'm trying to get better at this year, so fingers crossed that this actually makes it. <laughs> Okay, another eyeshadow palette. So again, I said I wasn't gonna get this. See, here's the thing. I just have FOMO, serious FOMO when it comes to cosmetics. I wasn't gonna get this because I'd been disappointed by the other mini Natasha Denona palettes. And then everybody was raving about it. So here it is, the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. Hi, I absolutely have every single color that's in this palette. I don't know, I have the rest. I wanted to complete it. It's $25 and you guys, this is actually like Natasha Denona's full size palette formula. All the others have not been quite her regular formula. She did it with this one. I am so thankful, so happy that Natasha finally decided to release one of these that's an actual representation of her bigger palettes. So if you wanna try out the Natasha Denona formula, don't wanna spend the price, $25 for this tiny little palette, <laughs> which honestly might not be worth it, but if you wanna test out her formula, there you go. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Okay, so these came in the mail today. I'm super excited about these. I haven't heard anybody talk about these except Tati briefly mentioned these in, I believe it was her Fenty concealer review. She just happened to mention that when these were already by basket. But these are the Touch and Salt Metalist Sparkling Foil Pigment. I got two. I wanted to buy all of them, but you know, I hadn't tried them, so I needed to chill out. I only got two, but I love Touch and Soul. I love glitter eyeshadows, and honestly, I love Touch and Soul as a brand in general. So these guys are really cute. They're just 
super reflective. I haven't put them on my eyes yet, but they're a little bit chunky, but in a good way. They're very, very smooth. I just want you to see the swatches. Look at these. I can't wait to put these on my eyes. So the top one is Sun Aurora, which is a peach with a beautiful green duochrome to it. And then the one on the bottom is Cream Peach. And this one's a little bit more champagne-y. Yeah, I don't know. These are really gorgeous. I can see this being featured in a favorites video or something already. We'll see how it wears. But I'm really excited about these. I love Touch and Soul. And they need to get more attention because they're such a good brand. They create the best little glitter products. Um, and also, can we talk about all of the concealers that are coming out? I've been obsessed with concealers in 2018 and I purchased three. This one's probably the oldest. I picked this up the longest time ago, but I haven't mentioned it yet. This is the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I have mine in the shade two. I really like the paddle on this guy. I like the way it applies. It is a lighter, more wearable formula. I have been liking it. It's not my favorite, but it's a really good everyday kind of light to medium coverage concealer. And then I also picked up the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the shade Light 2 or N Light 2. I don't know if the N stands for neutral. I kind of just randomly picked it up at Sephora without really testing the shade. So this one has a little bit more of a heavy coverage, thicker consistency than the First Aid Beauty. I'm trying to put them side by side so you can see how they compare next to each other. The last one that I got, which I also just use in my get ready, is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer. I picked it up for two reasons. Reasons. One, because the Ultra HD foundation is one of my favorites, and two, because it says it's self-setting. So I use it today, I didn't set, and so far I like it, but I want to play with it a little bit more before I give you my final opinions. But just so you can see how the color comparisons are, these actually are quite close to each other. So this right here is First Aid Beauty in number two. This is Cover FX in Neutral Light 2. And this is Makeup Forever in 21 Cinnamon, in case you were curious. I personally think this shade is the best, the 21 Cinnamon, because I haven't been so into super highlighted concealers. I don't really like them as bright anymore. I just think it looks a little bit more flattering if it's just like one shade lighter than your skin tone, not like three or four, which people are like going white on their under eyes. And I just, I almost feel like that emphasizes the blue in my under eyes. Like, am I the only one? I feel like lighter concealers don't cover as well on me. So this I got on Mel Thompson's recommendation. This is the Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner in BCC. And basically it's just a nude eyeliner. I've used it a couple of times. I don't know, can you even see it? It's like nude, but it's right here. I don't know. It's really creamy. I've used it a couple of times. It does have... Whoops, I dropped the cap. Okay, where'd you go, buddy? It does have decent staying power, but like it's really, really good. I think it is probably one of the best that I own for sure. So I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, I've always used the same Sephora nude eyeliner in my waterline. So it's just been nice to change it up, you know, with this. And I do quite like it quite a lot. Okay, so next I have the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadow. It was these intrigued me. I really love Huda Beauty. I think her brand is very unique. I think they take risks with the products that they release. I don't know. I just really like the brand. I feel like they're very different and they do a lot of things to stand out. So I got mine in the shade Private Jet and Shimmering Sunset. I have only used this once so I don't want to give my final final opinions. But I will say this is one of the warmer shades and it would very very pink on me like it straight up looked pink on my eye when I wore it which I didn't mind because I like a pink eye but like this is not really I don't know I feel like it shouldn't have looked as pink on my eye it wasn't how it swatched I think I like this I need to play with the glitter a little bit more because it kind of looked a little cracked but I don't know if it's just because I applied too much because I didn't know what the heck I was doing so far I'm liking it but I want to play with it some more but I like it so yeah <laughs> I also picked up the Marc Jacobs lipstick in sugar sugar first of all this packaging hello I don't know how new of a release it is I know it is a newer release but I don't know how new regardless I have been loving this lipstick it's the perfect really bright nude or really nude nude sorry light nude bright 
no it's a really nice light nude it is a frost so this is a different finish it's a little bit more sheer it can look a little bit more metallic but with the right lip liner underneath this is very very beautiful but it is a little bit more of a frosty formula than what I'm used to or what I typically go for I should say I don't know I've really been loving that color and the last thing I got by the way it's on my lips right now the bite beauty French press lip gloss in flat white <gasps> The stopper came out. I hate when that happens. I'm about to return this. You think I'm playing? I don't know how to get this back on. <laughs> if any of you guys know how to get this stopper back on, hit me up. I got this because all of the beauty gurus had this in their favorites. So I was like, well, shoot, I need this too. And it's really pretty. It's what's on my lips. It's a perfect nude. This and Sugar Sugar, mmm. Mm, a combo. Either I'm performing surgery tonight or I'm gonna get a new one. Okay, that's actually all that I picked up from Sephora. That was a lot. I feel out of breath. But I did pick up some things from Nordstrom that I did want to share with you guys. So the first one is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Oh, this is bougie. So what this is basically is it's like a cream to powder bronzer and you just use a brush or a beauty blender or whatever and put it on and it's supposed to add just the most beautiful bronze to your skin. Not too many people talk about this but the people who do talk about it are absolutely in love with it. This has like a cult following. I don't know what came over me to purchase this but I'm really excited to see if I like it as much as everybody else because the reviews on this were bad. Maybe I'll use it in like a tutorial or something so you can see how it works and how it looks. Yeah I don't know this is really bougie but I'm really excited for it. Charlotte Tilbury released her, or re-released her Pillow Talk collection. I have the lip stuff. All of you guys told me, and everybody else, just in general, told everybody to buy this collection, that it was so beautiful, so soft, just good. So, <laughs> Whoops. So I got the chic to chic blush. Obviously, this is in the shade pillow talk Very pretty everyday blush full intentions on doing a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk tutorial for you guys Just everything about pillow talk and because I also got the eyeshadow palette, which is very soft I've swatched it, but I haven't put it on everybody went on about this palette So we'll see how I like it. I don't really purchase her quads. I've only ever purchased one quad It was bad too, but it was like a different formula. I haven't purchased any of her quads from her regular line, so I'm very curious to see how I like it. This is my first real quad from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know, I have this thing where I just really don't like quads. It's weird. I just feel like you're spending so much money for four eyeshadows. I don't know. I like palettes, not quads. I picked this up on your guys' recommendation, so so excited. Hopefully you guys steered me in the right direction, which I'm sure you did. Here's the swatches, by the way. As you can see, very soft. Off. We'll see how it looks on the eye soon. And last, this wasn't from Nordstrom, but I'm just, it's new in my collection. This is the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in Hollow Gold. I have Hollow Pink. I really enjoy the formula of this. I love how much product picks up on my brush and how it applies to my skin. It's what I have on right now. This isn't as gold as I thought it was going to be, but I mean, I still really like it. So that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you want to see how I did this look using a number of these products, go check out my last video, my get ready with me video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.